So we have done the studies on stroke, on PBI, very interesting, very nice. This is by itself deserve a different discussion. So what happened with aging? Along aging, there are many things that happen to our biology. Okay, one of the things that happen to all of us is just like, you know, if you have a house and you have the pipes in the house and the house is getting older, along the aging process of the house, what will happen to the pipe? They will be occluded, okay? The same thing happened in our body. The occlusion of the blood vessels. We call it atherosclerosis process. It's narrowing of blood vessels. At the end, it may culminate in occlusion. Now, if you have occlusion of large blood vessels in the brain, we will call it stroke, okay? If it's small blood vessels, then we are losing again and again additional amount of tissue. And that will be the cognitive decline. It's not that you are losing immediately big thing. You are losing some tissue and then, oops, remind me what your name was. And then the information processing speed is declining and we're losing more and more tissue. At the end, we call it dementia, okay? But this is what happened along the way. If it's happening in the heart, we will call it myocardial infarction. If it's small blood vessels, it will be heart dysfunction. If it's happening in the penis, we will call it erectile dysfunction, okay? Because erection is... Okay. So that's happened all over. So by knowing that, what we have done in this study, we have took people who are 65 years old, fully potent, fully healthy, they are the so-called good for their age. So we took them and we were able to demonstrate with the high resolution MRI that we are doing, and they are healthy. They didn't have stroke, they didn't have brain pathology, fully healthy, fully potent, active, okay, us. And we were able to demonstrate in the high resolution perfusion MRI that we are doing, the occlusion of the small blood vessel, the decline in the brain to functionality and again using our regenerative protocol of the hyperbaric we were able to demonstrate that angiogenesis in the brain is happening because stem cells are coming up and new blood vessels are generated more blood vessels are going into the damaged tissue the tissue is regenerated and you see the malfunctioning tissue reactivating and surprise, surprise, the cognitive function related to that tissue is improving. Not because we work on the cognitive function, because the tissue was regenerated. So it's huge. It's huge because first of all, we can measure it. We can treat the tissue on normal, on the so-called normal aging. And it's more exciting because, you know, today, People speak a lot about Corona, okay? But the major threat to the Western society that is growing from year to year is the age-related functional decline. This is the number one threat to the Western society. And by doing that, and you know, when people have Alzheimer, it's too late. Because if you are looking at the brain, you see atrophy. Atrophy means that we don't see a tissue. So the main issue is to start early have metabolic dysfunction but you still have a tissue and then you can improve this tissue once you are improving the tissue the cognitive is improving and then you can keep on monitoring and see if and when you will need additional treatment and by doing that if you can measure it and if you can treat it the goal is to generate an alzheimer or dementia free society this is the way uh, we aim to do it and this is the goal this is the goal for us we want to function that's that's the goal functioning is first of all cognitive function 